We have a conduct for business item B, adopt a resolution declaring a state of water emergency as outlined in the San Bruno Municipal Code, Chapter 10.16, Water Conservation and Activating the San Bruno Water Shortage Contingency Plan. Jim. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of council. We have before you tonight a resolution which asks the council to declare a state of water emergency and the activation of the city's water shortage contingency plan. This action tonight is in direct response to last week's announcement by the State Water Board, which issued emergency water conservation regulations requiring outdoor water restrictions throughout the state, as you might have seen in the press uh, and the news. In addition, the state required um, activation of our or required the urban water suppliers to implement their water shortage plans and provided information um, regarding a, a failure. If we fail to activate the plan, it could result in a $10,000 per day fine. The city's water shortage contingency plan was adopted by the council in 2011 as part of the urban water management plan. In addition to the requirements laid out in our plan, the state's also required that we track our usage, which we, all, we have always done, but also to compare our usage um, for this year compared to last year or previous year's usage. As you might recall, the, the goal for this year, 2014, was a 10% reduction. And looking at our records from January to June, our water consumption is down by 9%. In addition to the measures that the citizens have taken, the city has also implemented several conservation measures. For example, the Parks Department have reduced irrigation and green spaces by 15 percent and will continue to evaluate green spaces to um, look for further reductions. In addition, low flow shower heads, faucet aerators and some other um, infrastructure improvements have taken place at the pool, the rec center, the library, fire stations 51 and 52 the Senior Center, the Police Plaza, and also at City Hall. The Department will continue to work with, in, in addition to these things, the Department will continue to work with our regional partners, Basqua and others, to improve our water conservation outreach programs, utilize our handouts and improve our handouts and provide better information to our, our customers. Already we've received about 30 phone calls from citizens with questions and comments regarding the uh, news reports about the water regulations that the state announced last Friday. And in order to fully comply with the state requirements related to outdoor water restrictions, the, de the department has developed the following implementation plan. Our plan has three components to it. The first is public outreach. Our public out outreach will include informational handouts. We'll develop these handouts in the coming uh, few days. And we'll have those at the public service counters, the utility buildings, city hall, We'll also have those available at the Senior Center, the Library, the Rec Center. We'll provide information, we'll develop information that will be included on our website and also for inclusion uh, on our cable TV at a future date. The second part is our kind of our response plan where the, where the rubber meets the road, you might say. We're going to provide staff training and guidance on uh, requests for service that we receive from um, customers. Like I said, we have about 30 phone calls thus far since Friday and um, guidance on how to answer the questions, the information to provide and the types of assistance that we might be able to provide citizens to help gain compliance with these restrictions. Um, in addition, we are evaluating the types of assistance that our folks can provide um, in the field. One of the things that we will help folks with is questions regarding irrigation timers. It's one that comes up often where people might their timers may be going off at odd times or times when they don't want them to um, and also help with leak detection, questions about leaks. In addition, we'll provide water conservation tips and techniques to citizens. We'll uh, uh, provide them information about our programs for water conservation and our incentive programs for low flow toilets and shower heads and some of the free, um, free things like shower heads and faucet aerators. And the third part of our plan would be a monitoring and compliance portion. We'll need to develop the compliance process, which would include techniques to identify and respond to persistent violations. The techniques um, could also include fines. 
So tonight we are recommending that the council adopt the resolution which would declare the state of water emergency outlined in the San Bruno Municipal Code 10.16 and activating the San Bruno water shortage contingency plan. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Any questions of staff at this time or action by the council? Irene? Well, I'll do, I'll do the action if no one else has questions, but I just want to also mention that we have the Long Be Gone program, and do, could you elaborate on that, please? You, you know, I'm pretty new at the city, so I don't oh. have the history, <laughs> um, but I would bet the city manager does. I'd be happy to, to answer that. Um, first of all, in addition to uh, Long Be Gone, we have, um, we as a member of FOSCWA, the Bay Area uh, Water Suppliers uh, Group, we have programs available for interested residents who want to uh, take advantage of low uh, water requiring landscapes to assist them in techniques and plant types and that type of thing. But our Long Be Gone program is uh, a uh, rebate program comparable to our uh, low flow toilet and other other incentive programs that provides um, an incentive to persons who wish to um, rip out their lawn and put in uh, low water use uh, uh, replacement uh, plants in, in landscapes. So we're happy to provide any specific information to individuals through our public services department. Right, and I, I believe it's online, or you can go to Bosqua and it's it is, online there. It, it's on our website as well as on the Bosqua website. Okay, so, so in a nutshell, I think for every square foot of lawn that you get rid of, you get X amount of money and up to whatever. I couldn't remember the details, that's why I passed it on to you guys. But anyway, it's a great program, and uh, I believe it's, it has been extended to include more more hand, uh, more money to hand out to people if they do that. So, and we do have program. quite a bit of information on our water conservation website. You can find that on the city's website under public services in the water. Great. Okay. Anyone do, else? No. Okay. I'll introduce the resolution. Councilmember O'Connell. Aye. Councilmember Salazar. Aye. Councilmember Ibera. Aye. Vice Mayor Medina. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. 